This coffee that I have every morning and the one you drink while at work may contain insect fragments and even traces of animal poop. Shocking. Wait till you hear what else makes it into your food. So here's the deal. It's impossible to make coffee 100% bug free because coffee beans are stored in giant warehouses around the world. Insects crawl in, droppings collect and some beans get damaged. So regulators including America's FDA set limits. A pound of beans can legally have about 10 mg of animal droppings and a 4 to 6% of beans can be insect infested or moldy. And coffee isn't the only one on the list. Take black pepper that has more than 40 insect fragments per teaspoon. Chocolate, up to 30 insect parts per bar plus a sprinkling of rodent hair. Tomato sauce has up to 15 fly eggs per 100 grams. Peanut butter, well, an average of 30 insect fragments and one rodent hair per 100 grams. If you have fruits in the morning, flies can hitch a ride during transport. Freeze inside refrigerated trucks and end up in your kitchen. Now, all of these fall under what regulators call food defects. They're considered unavoidable and, in tiny amounts, harmless. But let's clear up one viral myth that you might have seen on TikTok or on Reels somewhere else. No, your coffee is not 10% cockroaches. That claim comes from a misread FDA rule. The rule says if 10% of raw green beans are bug damaged or moldy, the shipment can be seized. That's about quality control before roasting, not about 10% of your cappuccino being made of cockroaches big difference. And this isn't just America's problem. Pakistan doesn't publish detailed defect levels, but the reality is the same everywhere. Whether it's been stored in Karachi, Brazil or Ethiopia, no food supply chain in the world is 100% clean. Regulators balance safety with practicality and without these limits, food costs would skyrocket and many products would vanish from store shelves altogether. So yes, Trace amounts of insect fragments might be in your morning brew. It sounds disgusting, but they're too small to harm you. The uncomfortable truth is whether you're drinking coffee in Lahore, New York or London, a little extra protein probably comes with the beans.